something happened on the field to where he was hit by a boy almost double in his size. Angelina Kennedy lives with her nephew Covey right across the street from Moline's Browning Field. Because he's ready to go home. Mm -hmm. And he wants it to be over. I know he's ready. This is where Dakovian should be for Friday night's game. This is his home game. But instead, he's in Peoria fighting for his life as doctors try to figure out what's wrong. There's nothing. There's, they haven't found out anything. They, there's nothing to go by. It's just every day is a question mark. It started with the hit at practice. That's to be expected in football, but then a fever developed that wouldn't break. The hit is what caused us to keep going back to the doctor. Otherwise, we would have listened to the doctor and said, you know, it'll, it'll wear its course. Your fever will eventually break, like the doctor said. Doctors now say Covey's heart is inflamed and beating irregularly. He's highly sedated, and they want to keep him that way because it calms his heart. They didn't know if it's a virus or if the hit had anything to do with his illness. It's a horrible feeling. It's horrible just to see him laying there like that and all the machines hooked to him. Angelina goes to visit Covey every day hoping she'll get to take him home. They say it's going to be a long road. Back to his home field. In Moline, Marissa Sulek, WQAD News 8. The family is expecting test results on his heart to come in tomorrow. That could give doctors a better idea just what is going on.